confident, but I still have my moments, baby. That's just me. I'm a little bit of a freak about laundry. Mom of three kids. There are socks in my refrigerator. There are dirty underwear stuffed in pillowcases. Not my own, but of my children. So when it comes to my laundry, my closet is kind of my haven. I'm very neat, and I have to have everything in a place where it belongs so that when it's time for me to do laundry, I can meticulously take those items that are soiled or dirty, and I can appropriately put them where they belong. Um, I'm not someone who has clothing strewn everywhere, and I treat my laundry as such. It's something that I take a lot of pride in and make sure it's done correctly. Then when it's time for me to actually do the wash, it takes a little bit more time. It's something that I like to relax. I like to think about. I like to make sure it's done well. I take the colors and I make sure that those colors match with other colors that I'm putting in the laundry at the same time. I don't mix and just get stuff in there. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And I read the labels of everything that I put in the wash and make sure that I am adding just enough soap and I am turning all of my knobs to exactly where they need to be because that would be a, lar a huge mistake if I messed it up and then was wearing beaten up clothes that did not look like I took care of them. <laughs> Just like I always know what's in my washer, I'm very meticulous about my drying as well. There should be no time that things just sit in your washer unattended. Things should always be tended to as they are ready to come out. So as you are drying your blankets, you should always make sure that they are folded nicely and that they are carefully tended to and make sure that things are not being ripped while in your dryer. Okay, that's all for now. wash dishes. I know I stand here for hours and hours cleaning all the dishes that my family has dirtied throughout the day. You know you don't dad though. Mom, what are you doing? Dad just back you. I'm trying to make it look good for my show. I have to make them think I really do this. Laundry's not my favorite thing. Washing dishes aren't my favorite thing. I hate to vacuum because it makes me sweaty. Um, what else do I hate? I don't clean windows very often. Toilets. Don't enjoy toilets. Um, I can't stand getting the hair and gook out of the drain of the tub. I don't know anybody who likes doing any of those things. But what I tell myself is my organization and cleanliness and how I treat our home and how I try to keep it together <laughs> uh, mentally no how to try to keep my house together is a gift to my family um, we all know when there's chaos whether it's piles all over the counter and dirty underwear on the table and your all your laundry on the floor and all that's that's not a peaceful feeling and there's scientific proof that the visual cues that we get add to our frustration on the inside. We all know if mommy ain't happy ain't nobody happy so if there's chaos and there's a mess and the ki there's dishes in the sink and stuff's not done and there's toys everywhere and 
it, I don't feel good. And I know nobody does. You can't live like that. Somebody whose life is way more difficult and filled with chaos than mine is Don Meehan, who wrote Because I Said So. Um, if you haven't been to BecauseIsaidSo.com, you need to get over there. She is just hysterically funny. But this first book, Because I Said So, comes out April 1st. But because I agreed to review it, I got a sneak peek. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, this is one of those books that no fail, best present ever you could get for a mom. You can go to Amazon.com and order 15 copies and just think of all the moms you could give them to. This is one of those books that your friend will call you and thank you. I'm not kidding. Even if Dawn was not one of my closest friends, I would, I would tell you the same. This is a complete unbiased opinion. This book is just her life. But in the midst of all the chaos she writes about, she has truth. And, and when I say truth, small nuggets of truth, small things that we can hold on to that kind of inspire us. If we can get through the next five minutes, just look at it as time spent with our kids. Or just look at it, if we can get through the next five minutes, the kitchen will be clean. Or she has these optimistic nuggets in, in, along in with the writing at the end of the chapters. And that's what I love. It's not just a look how chaotic my life is kind of story. Um, or chapters. It is really, there's a lot you can take from it. Um, and she's, she's really an amazing writer. So along the lines of laundry and everything, I thought I would just read you a little snippet of her book and give you an idea. Um, and this is from one of the chapters. I'm only going to read you a little bit because I want you to go out and get this. But my children, all seven of them, she has six kids. I'm assuming the seventh is her husband, Joe are terrible at emptying their pockets before to tossing their jeans into the laundry basket. I can't remember ever washing a pair of my husband's pants when he didn't have a handful of change in his pocket. Lexi is famous for lip gloss and small toys in her pockets. Austin almost always has a pencil or two in his pocket. Savannah is known for scraps of paper with notes, phone numbers, and homework assignments written on them. Jackson and Clay tend to have very weird assortment of stuff in their pockets. Rocks, gum, checkers, bugs, seeds, magnets, twigs, bottle caps, cookies, you get the idea. If I'm not careful, these things sometimes end up going through the washer and the dryer. Still, as bad as it is to have a collection of rocks banging around in your dryer, there are worse things to wash. Have you ever washed a diaper? I'm not talking about a cloth diaper. Have you ever washed a disposable diaper? I have. And not just any disposable diaper either, I'm talking about the super mega overnight pull-up kind. The kind that can hold the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> now I'm going to skip ahead. Clay has a habit of taking off his jammies, nighttime diaper and all, and throwing all of it into the hamper. I'm usually quite good to remove at the remove the diaper from the laundry game, but this one slipped by my radar. You know how those disposable diapers hold 55 gallon, a 55-gallon drum of liquid? Evidently, there were 56 gallons of water in my washer because the diaper exploded during the wash. That sticky, nasty gel stuff, which makes disposable diapers so absorbent, was everywhere. My washing machine and every article of clothing in there was covered with cold, wet, sticky, puffed-up, water-filled gel particles. If you've ever been so lucky as to wash a diaper before, let me tell you, this stuff doesn't come off your clothes. It doesn't come out of your washer. It stays for an average of two and a half years. <laughs> this book, um, I would read it to my kids because while I was reading it, I would just crack up hysterical and they would come climb in my lap or come wherever I was and want me to read it to them. So, no brainer. Go to Amazon.com, get 15, 20 copies of this, give it to every one of your friends that's a mom. It is hysterical. Go to BecauseIsaidSo.com really good book and totally fit with our theme of housework because when you have six kids you got a lot of housework um i hope the show inspired you i hope it made you laugh i hope um you can look at the chaos in your house and you can look at the mess and think about the cleaning of it differently it's just something we have to do uh the next episode of the mom show is going to be a little more serious I look forward to telling you all about it. We'll see you next time.